This is a song, I think it's a piece about relationships. Um, it's a life cycle story, it's, it's a life cycle. And um, two people are born, no one dies. And the song owes a bit of a uh, tri uh, thanks to um, Johann Sebastian Bach as well. Too. <laughs> Most specifically, the 147th Concerto in the Key of C. <laughs> This is the tale of two people who needed each other. They meet one another by accident, maybe on purpose. It's hard to explain what the circumstance was. Some would call it coincidence. Others would think about their situations, unstable relations, and cordon off sensations. Reality hits and you find yourself pregnant with child, of course. It's the child of God who's been sent from above. Save for the three minutes of love, but the funniest parts were the formal exchanges. I'll call you on Saturday. Maybe the phone rings. I need a companion who understands everything. Now I'm a liar, I'm fronting for somebody's father, an infant who's deemed irresponsible. Maybe it's possible, perhaps the baby was born with a mission of function, a reason to satisfy someone, the mother completely, and I'll be a neatly, and tricks me they treatly, and all those children's parties. The child has grown and is now an adult with adult responsibilities, jobs, and employment, economy crashes, at least for the moment. The money is real, but in life hard to quantify, splitting it even makes everything easy when selling on Etsy. We try not to simplify forces, compel us to mock indiscriminately. Sheer interaction becomes a distraction from real life, which means more than computer screens. All these gadgets and gizmos we stare at for hours and hours, enforcing beliefs that we already knew. How much time do you do? How much time is for me? And my marriage is tricky but busy, yet filled with domestic bliss. Animals' chores, my art aligns with yours. My art aligns with yours. What the difference is between fact and reality, serious reality, heartache and backache become interchangeable, maybe exchangeable. Health and nutrition became my religion through natural living and constant caregiving for those who may need. What I give on receiving the moral, of course, is to never veer off it and keep yourself clean from the destructive forces that penetrate progress and veer you off courses. The legend's been told, be it too many times, that the knock on conformity may be enormity, maybe some normalcy, maybe some reason, some rhyme when it's me and my interests that come at the forefront of every discussion without repercussion, without interruption. I ask of this question, um, who is this lawyer who's down in the foyer? He suffered impunity, granted immunity, all for a lease that signed in perpetuity. Where is my neighbor? She went into labor. Another new baby. I think it's a Christian. Gave birth in the kitchen. I thank you for listening. <laughs>